given that it's so useful to go through a list of numbers and pick out those numbers that are between some lower bound and some upper bound, wouldn't it be nice if we have a single function? Let's call it between that would take any lower bound and any upper bound so that it would then go through a list of numbers and pick out those numbers in the list that are between the given lower bound and the given upper bound. Again, to choose numbers between the given lower and upper bounds. For example, between when it's given the lower and upper bounds 20 and 50 would behave like the old function between 20 and 50. Uh, if you give it 30, 10, 40, it's going to return just 30 and 40 because 10 is out of bounds. And if you give it 10 and 40, it will give you just 40 because 10 is out of bounds. And also, um, like with the old example, if you give this empty, it's going to return empty. But we should be able to use the same function with different bounds. Like if I want numbers between 0 and 100, then I should be able to just do that without defining a new, very tiny and easy to define helper function. Okay, so we want a single function between that would do this. Well, we could design this function using select. After all, we designed between 2050 using select. There we had, again, the helper function bw, huh? That would test if a given number is between 20 and 50. Now we just need a helper function that would tell if the given number is between the first and the second inputs to between. Okay, so if between takes two inputs, low, high, and a list of numbers, then what we need to do is to use select with a helper function. Let's call it blh for between low and high for short, uh, and give it the list of numbers. Okay, and we just need to define BOH as a function that will take a given number and tell if that given number is between low and high like this. Okay, this function BOH has the same signature as BW, huh? It's going to take a number and returns a boolean. Okay, and it's going to check if the given number is between low and high. Okay, now I haven't written the examples for BOH, huh? I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, but here is something funny that happens when we try to test this program. Well, the variable low is not defined. The variable low is defined here. It's an input to between. But we want to use the input to between in a different function, blh, huh? And that's kind of tricky. It's as if we want to put one definition, the definition for blh, huh, or helper function, inside another definition because we want blh, huh, to use low, but low is an input to between. It turns out, that we can do this using a feature of the intermediate student language that we haven't talked about until now. And that is the ability to make a local definition. What's a local definition? It's when we can put the definition of one thing inside the definition of another thing. So here, what we want to do is to define this helper function using the input to another function. Here's how we use local. We put left parentheses, as you might expect, and we use the word local. Now, local has two parts. Local needs you to give it two things. The first thing is a mini definitions window. So when I put the pair brackets here, that's like a mini definition window, and you can put whatever you put in the definition window in between those brackets. And those are the local definitions. 
So if I want to define BOH harm, I'm just going to put all my definition of BOH harm, I'm going to cut that and put it in between these pair of brackets. I'm going to paste and just to make things clear, I'm going to re-indent this piece of code in the middle. Okay, so you can see that this is my mini definitions window and I could put whatever definition I want in the middle. And here I want to put my helper function BOH harm. That's the first thing of the two things that local needs. And the second thing that local needs is what to actually produce as a result. Here I want result of select to be the result of between. So the second input I give to local is just this call to select. And then I need to close the local with the right paren and close the define for between. That's basically it. Now when I run my program, the test pass, and I could even use between with other numbers. If I want to, for example, check if some list of numbers is between 32 and 212, I can do that without defining any new helper function because between has already defined the helper function we need for us. So that's cool. There are a couple remaining issues I want to explain about local. The first thing is to take a look at how local gets its input. So now if I use check syntax, again, check syntax is actually a way for us to see which inputs go where. So if you use check syntax and then mouse over low, you can see that low, which is the input to between, is used inside the helper function BOH hub. That's what the arrow says. And BOH, the helper function defined by local, is then used as an input to select. And another input used to select is the input LM. That's the input to between. Another question is, are we done with this design? Well, we're not quite because we have not written the examples yet for our helper function BOH. How do we write examples for BOH? Well, it's hard to write check expects because whether our helper function should return true or false depends on low and high, right? Because 10 is not between 20 and 50, but it is between 0 and 100. So it's hard to write check expects. It turns out that we cannot automate testing for these local helper functions. Instead, we have to go back to comments. We have to write our examples as good old comments. For example, we have to write that when we're given 10, we expect the helper function to return false if, and this is a big if, we have to include it, if low is 20 and high is 50. But when this function, this helper function is given 10, we expect true if low is 0 and high is 100. Okay. And we could similarly write more examples for when low is 20 and high is 50, and for when low is 0 and high is 100. So this is how you write examples for a local definition. You have to write it as a good old comment. Another way to see how local works is to use the stepper to go through the computation step by step. Let's try using the stepper on this example of between where we're going through the list 30, 10, 40, and looking for numbers between 20 and 50. So the first thing that happens is we're just expanding the definition of between into this use of local. Next, and this is a crucial step, a helper function BOH huh, is defined, but we have a new helper function. This helper function is called this funny name BLH huh, underscore zero, and it takes one input n and it checks if n is between 20 and 50. So whenever local sees a definition, it actually makes a new helper function, and that helper function is going to be the one we wanted in the first place between 20 and 50. And the rest is just a matter of using select on this new helper function. So every time we call between with a new set of bounds, like between 20 and 50, or between 0 and 100, or between 50 and 1,000, or whatever, we're going to get a new helper function. And then that helper function is what's passed to select.